Hello my dear sewing friends, it's Elisa here and today we have a 10 minute project and we're making these drawstring bags. They are great in any room of the house, from kitchen to bathroom to bedroom, for storing fruits when you go on a walk, to storing jewelry and craft items. Now, first thing you will take your choice of fabric and then we will serge or zigzag the edges so that way it does not unravel when our bag is in use. Now go ahead and fold your fabric in half and mark a half an inch opening on both sides one inch from the top of the bag like you see me do on a screen. This is a heat erasable pen so once I iron the bag the markings will disappear. Now let's go ahead and sew all around the bag leaving the openings open. You can also choose to do a straight stitch on the bottom as well so that way you can complete the whole bag in one go. Don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and at the end of your seams. Now that that is done, let's go ahead and move to the ironing board. First, we're going to press the seam allowances open around the little openings that we left on the top of the bag. So that way it's easier for us to put the ties through. Next, we will fold the top of the bag three quarters of an inch like so and press it. That will ensure that the openings are facing on the right side of the fabric. For the ties, you can cut one inch wide strips that are folded and pressed like so and then stitched. You can also use a bias tape maker for this to make it a little bit easier and faster. That's what I personally use. The length of the ties will depend on the measurements of your bag. For each bag, you will need two ties. For this next step, I do take a little shortcut and I usually insert the ties right away and only after that, I stitch right across that folded edge of the top of the bag. Now, you can do either way. You can do it after or you can do it the way I do it, but if you do it with this shortcut, you need to make sure that you don't stitch over the ties, otherwise you won't be able to pull them together. Now with a straight stitch, let's complete our bag. You will stitch right here on the edge of this folded top of the bag to complete the casing of the ties. Once done, tidy up all loose threads. Make sure that you tie the ends of the ties. And that's it, your drawstring bag is done. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more 10 and 30 minute projects that are useful yet easy to make, go ahead and click on the video that you see on your screens right now and it will take you to a full playlist of really fun sewing projects. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!